hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can use the repeater component of filament so that we can have a field where we can add multiple values and this is a very common requirement so initially we will look at a basic repeater where you know, we are not adding a relationship but rather we will add a json column to our students table and then add values to it and then later on in the next video we will look at how we can even add relationships to an entity using this repeater thing so without wasting much time let's get started so this is our form where we are taking some basic information and if we look at our database the students columns are here now what i want to do is add a new column let's just say um vitals something like that where i store some medical information about students which are important to keep track of so let's see how we can do that the first thing is obviously i'll go into my migration and again just as a word of caution right now because this application is not on production i am adding fields in the existing migration but if your application what is this okay i'll need to subscribe to this pretty soon i really like this uh, plugin but yeah so what i was saying is right now the application is not on production so adding a column to the existing migration is still fine but once you hit production please don't do that because you will need to run a new migration so i'll add a new column in here called vitals it will be nullable by default so you know it doesn't create a problem and yeah i think that's about it um, i need to add these information to the model vi sorry spelling is wrong let me do that and student model in the fillable array i'll need to add that that's about it but because this is a json column i'll need to add a casts property and just say that vitals is a json data that's about it so let's close these things and now what do we have in here okay i'll need to refresh my migration because i have added a column which now will not be added so why don't we do that i have a shortcut called mrs and with that my login will go away so i need to go to this url again slash admin i need to change the default thing hold on i'll go to web.php and do redirect route filament auth login that means now every time i go to the root i get this so let me log in now okay i'm signed in students and the form is as it was previously but now what i will do is as i said we need a repeater element right so why don't we add that all right before that i think the repeater is to capture vitals i'll show you first how things look like so i have a repeater rep form components repeater make i'll call it vitals okay and a repeater has a schema so i'll add that schema it's an array where i'll have a text input make let's just say this is value and with this in place i think we are good add vitals test add vitals best oops <laughs> the b was not there right this will not work let me update it and hit save let's look at the database so this is fine but doesn't make too much sense okay i can by the way save these things because now if you see the value test will be replaced with the best so it is automatically doing certain kinds of you know goodies to your data 
But what I want is ideally some meaningful thing. So let me quickly do one thing. What, what we are going to do is we'll have a config file where we will put the uh, vitals which we are interested in. I don't want a CRUD for this. Um, it's too complicated or I will say too overwhelming because you, know, you don't need a CRUD for basic all these kind of stuff. But there will be quite a few of these in our application. So what we will do is SM config student management uh, some short form okay um, and then this is a config file so it should return an array where I'll have vitals which is again an array somehow I am pretty bad with the spelling of vitals all right so what are the different vitals blood group oops and the actual name will be blood group something like that um, the second one will be medical history some small comment okay that, that's that's all there that we have in this and maybe allergies with this what do we do we have this um, select component make name okay um, options and the options will be an array so config that's it yeah um, again so it will be sm config vitals let me do this put some basic validations this is required this is required and let's just say that the value should be max length 255 because i don't want to go beyond that okay now hit refresh let's see what we have we have these so we will say that the first one is blood group um o positive medical history none and maybe we will add one more which is allergies what sodium <laughs> it's a strange one to have um, but yeah so with this now let's look at what we have so yes it's an uh, it's a JSON data where we are storing everything and obviously as I showed you I can do stuff like you know rearrange them move delete them stuff like that and now if I refresh you know, things are working and now this is something you know which I said you know uh, it's a repeater element which is very useful but then if you see right now the form has become quite ugly looking and we would want to do something about it so what we can do is use a component called section and I'll show you how that will make things a little more interesting so pa, 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 pa. let's move everything out of this and add a section called personal info like so and there is a field called description add students student personal information okay and then we can add a schema which takes an array of these elements immediately you know we can also see that this needs to be taken care of so we add one more section make um, medical information something like that description add medical information about the student from the drop down list something like that you know and then we add the schema which is an array and time to refresh all right we have this pretty interesting can i do column let's see quickly um schema is here can i do columns two right but then no this is not working i think the section is 
columns. Can I add columns over here? Yes, it does. Let's see. Okay, this is also one way. I think it will not do a grid kind of a thing. I'll have to use a grid component for that, but this is still fine. You know, we have still have one liners instead of the previous one, which was like this. So, you know, we are already um, in a better, better situation. And one more thing about this section component is, I'll show you that, that uh, it is collapsible. Okay, there is one property called collapsible, which you can add. So yes, this is added over here. And now if I refresh, can you see? I can collapse these informations. And also, I can do collapsed. It can also take a closure as a conditional thing. But yeah, what will happen is by default, the first one will be an open and I mean, expanded and the second one will always be collapsed. So this is something which you can play around with based on you know, your UI requirements, but this component is available. So that's about it, guys. That's what I wanted to cover in this video. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.